I wanted to be the first to welcome you to casual season. And here's what I mean by casual season. Effective Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, we go for this six-week casual season. People get sloppy. They show up to work later. They don't stick to their disciplines. They say the average person during holidays puts on five to ten pounds. You get your energy goes lower. You're already in Christmas holiday mode, New Year's Eve mode, and you're already living into 2021. Just want you to know, 95% of people are going to get this bug of holiday season, and they're going to get very casual. And since 2002 till today, I have loved this season. Here's what's crazy. I love Thanksgiving, but I love Thanksgiving Day. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. I love family coming together on Christmas. It's my favorite holiday by a mile. I love these two dates. But at the same time, December for me historically is one of the busiest days of the month. I do a lot of business planning, strategy sessions, get-togethers, gatherings. We get together and think about what we're going to be doing in 2021. We have carrier meetings that we bring everybody together. A lot of people are saying, I can't make it. I can't come. I can't do this. It doesn't matter. We're holding this meeting to talk about our good, bad, ugly. Every single thing we do for 2021 happens in November, December. All the planning. And at the same time, historically, November is a very big month for us. December is a very big month for us because we like to finish off. And by the way, for some of you that may say that may be because your industry, it's got nothing to do with the industry. Insurance industry is very slow in the month of December. Insurance industry slow. The week pre-Thanksgiving till New Year's, it's not a good industry to be a part of because that six-week insurance agents pretty much take it off. The insurance carriers take off. Their customer service starts later. Their customer service finishes earlier. Everybody's off during this season. But why am I sharing this message with you? Here's why. You know what's one of the hardest things to do in the month of December? I'm going to tell you what's one of the hardest things to do in the month of December, especially in a weird like, like, like this that we had in 2020, which at this point everybody knows it's been a weird year. COVID, market, election, voter fraud, whatever you want to call it, Biden, Trump, you know, uh, uh, riots, protesting, BLM, whatever you want to call it, this has been a very weird year. It's a qualified weird year by a mile. However, however, the hardest thing for people to do in December is to get their business plan out that they, they wrote in December of 2019. It's the hardest thing to do. It's so hard to take out your business plan. You know why it's hard to take out the business plan? Because why would you want to look at a business plan that you only got 50% of the goal done? Or you only got 40% of the goal done? Some of you guys that are, you know, did really well, 80% of the goal done. Typically what I've known from my career, is somebody that doesn't hit 60% of their goal of the year they wrote out in their business plan, they don't even look at their business plans. The biggest mistake you'll ever make if you don't look at a terrible business plan where you didn't hit your numbers. Why? Because if you don't look at it, what's going to change the next year? The first thing we do, like we've already started this a month and a half ago, two months ago, where we sit down with our board and our board says that we hit our budget, that we hit our numbers. What's on? What's off? What do we hit? The other day, we were looking at our numbers that we projected last December of what we're going to do in September, October. Uh, it was J August, September, October. Do you know what we hit of our goals? 103% of budget, 97% of budget, 99% of budget, meaning we said last December what we're going to do in the month of August, September, November. September, October, and we hit it within 97%, 99%, 100%. By the way, don't let me impress you. For 15 years, we didn't, okay? I I'm telling you, this is the guy that was winging. First 10 years of my business, I was winging. I'm just kind of like, energy, let's go, we can do it, all this other stuff. Oh, we had, don't worry about it, let's look at the numbers, let's just go, it's about next year. It's not about looking at the past, it's about next year. We don't need to look at all this stuff. And then I started hanging out with people that are actually winning at the highest level, and I realized what they do, they actually go back and look at the bad news. They actually go back and look at the stuff they didn't pull off. They actually go back and find out all the things that they said they were going to do that they didn't execute. Why not? And they have the tough conversations and they improve. So what does this mean to you? A couple things it means to you. Number one, if you're in the 95% the category of people that are already checked out and it's already Thanksgiving, you ate so much, this turkey was so good, the stuffing, oh my gosh, family, Black Friday. So if you're in that community, but you're willing to be convinced to go to the 5% community, this is your chance to do so when you're watching this video because it's still not too late. But I tell you, if you wait, you don't recover January when everybody gets to work. If you take the six weeks off, you know how long it takes for people to recover? Add another six weeks, which means you take the six weeks off of being casual and you come back around January 4th, 5th, let's just say Monday, Tuesday, you're not going to recover for six weeks after that, which is middle of February. By the time you recover by middle of February, which means your, your year is really starting March 1st, you're already toast. You ain't competing with the real competitors. You're competing with the bottom 80% is who you're competing with. 
If you want to compete with the top five percenters in November, finish off strong. December, finish off strong. Look at every single thing you did right, wrong, whatever it happened. Any surprises, one of the things we love spending time with, it's areas that we had surprises. And this year we had a lot of surprises. I'm talking about for myself. A lot of surprises as a CEO, as a parent, as a family, as a business, as in the, it's been so many surprises this year. So what's made me do is just kind of calculate what surprises I'm going to be ready for next year. So if it happens again, like some people are saying, oh my gosh, we're getting the second wave of COVID. We're getting the third wave of COVID. We are fully prepared because we've been through this already. So it's not a surprise to us because you know, we know what's going to be happening. Everything I'd be thinking about if I were you is go back at the business plan, see what you didn't hit. Ask yourself why you didn't hit it and ask how much weight does your word have? Are you the kind of person that keeps saying what you're going to do and you don't hit but 20% of your goals? Well, maybe that's a character issue. Maybe that's a work ethic issue. Maybe it's you got to keep your word. It's not easy to have this conversation. Believe me, I've had this conversation with myself for a long time. And I eventually made a decision back in 07, 08. I said, I want to be the guy that when I walk in and I'm getting the investors, clients, whoever I'm talking to, I want to say, if we're going to hit this number, we're either going to hit the number or they're going to say, let me tell you, they hit 92% of it. They hit 88% of it. These guys, one thing I know about these guys, they're going to bust their tail to hit the number that they gave. I wanted that kind of a reputation amongst my peers, carriers, investors, partners, everybody, which brought new partners in. So if you want to do that going into 2021, don't wait until 2021 to change those habits. Finish December in 2020 strong. Don't go into 2021 yet. Finish December in 2020 strong, this month strong, then go into 2021 with a ton of momentum, and then you own 2021. If you do that, 2021, with all the havoc that's still going to happen, still going to be weird, inauguration, new president potentially, with all the havoc, you're not going to have a lot to worry about because you're going to experience the beginning of the greatest years of your life simply because you, your new version, came into 2021. 21. Having said that, if you've never watched a video, I did a one-page business plan. I made this video, I believe, four years ago. If you've never watched it, click over here to watch this video and start your business planning for 2021. And with that being said, have a great week, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.